The Goat Island Marine Reserve is fully protected for doing marine scientific studies. It means that one is not allowed to take or kill any creatures living there. As a result, it is also very good for studying its fishes. The rocky shore is zoned with close to the surface the stringy bladder weeds. Below it, a barren sea urchin zone created by storms, then the kelp forest, and where light becomes insufficient for plants, the deep reef with sponges. We begin our discovery with the open water near or over the rocky shore. The fishes found swimming in the open are often difficult to see because their skins mirror the surrounding water. The piper usually swims close to the surface where its food is found. It looks like a miniature swordfish, except that its long nose is its lower jaw, as shown here in more detail. So it must turn its head in order to open its mouth. During the day, its nose, or chin rather, glows bright red. The Silver Trevally is a jack or yellow tail with a narrow V-shaped tail fin attached to its narrow tail stock. It can turn its yellow back and side stripes off at will, and can also assume a banded pattern on its sides. Notice its dark gill spot. When young, they often feed on fish parasites which they pull from between the scales of bigger fish often seen with a small trevally friend. As they grow, they join up with their peers in small groups, usually feeding from creatures in the sand. Later they form larger schools, feeding on planktonic shrimps, and often in tight formations foaming the water. Jack mackerels look like mackerels, but they are jacks with narrow tails and yellow stripes which they can turn off at will. Here a school of jack mackerels is resting in the kelp forest. New Zealand has two kinds, the jack mackerel and the koheru, which can be distinguished by their sidelines. The jack mackerel has a sharp zigzag, whereas the koheru sideline bends more gradually. The jack mackerel also has a larger black gill spot. Koheru are easy to identify when they turn their backs yellow, but they do so at will, and usually while resting. When feeding, they show no yellow at all. Mature koheru are very beautiful, bright yellow on top and blue silver below, but they have become rare. The biggest jack is the kingfish. He is seen hunting in a pack. But as they grow older, their groups become smaller. The kahawai or sea trout is a very fast hunter, usually just visible where it fades into the background. It has a patterned back and a thick tail stalk. Blue Mau are bright blue with white bellies. They mainly eat zooplankton while sieving the water in tight groups. They can often be seen feeding on the surface. In the Goat Island Marine Reserve, Blue Mau Mau are often waiting by the beach in knee-deep water. In the feeding channel they look up to visitors, hoping that someone will feed them and this is how they see us. The grey mamau or sweep is a smaller version which stays mainly grey with a touch of blue. It belongs to inshore waters whereas the blue mamau belongs in warmer and clearer offshore waters. A beautiful small open water fish is the two-spot demoiselle or damsel fish. Adult males become deep blue with white fin edges. Here the male is seen guarding its nest. Females remain dull green 
and together they can form small but dense schools. Due to degrading water quality, demoiselles have disappeared from Goat Island where once they were plentiful. Several fish species are found amongst the seaweeds. Shallow seaweeds need to be tough and stringy to yield to fierce waves and so are the fishes living there. Some feed on the fast growing seaweeds whereas others feed on the invertebrates. The parori is a plant eater and always seems to smile. It can be dark olive while grazing amongst the seaweeds or pinstriped when traveling. It is very sociable sleeping in tranquil places where they change to into dark pajamas to sleep. Rather than eating the tough seaweed fronds, they specialize in eating invasive algae growing on top of the kelp like these red mossy algae, thereby keeping the large seaweeds clean. In muddy areas one can find their scrape marks on the rocks. A close relative of the parore is the silver drummer, a solid fish which can grow very old. It too eats seaweeds like the parore. Here a group of five is waiting to be cleaned by a little trevally. Can you see it? Where lush seaweeds are neatly trimmed, one can expect to find the marble fish, a large fish with a marbled skin. It lives in caves near wave-swept weeds and is very shy. Not to be confused with it is the kelpfish, which is not a plant eater but eats mollusks like chitons and limpets. It is very inquisitive. When one encounters round holes in the stalked kelp, butterfish are never far away. They eat round holes out of the middle of the tough fronds so that these cannot rip apart. The male is one of the most elegant and beautifully colored fishes found along the coast, whereas the female is dull brownish. Their young are kelp colored and hard to see. Another robust fish found among the kelp is the banded wrasse with seven colored half bands over its back. It can grow very old and varies its color. As it weaves its way through the kelp, it is difficult to spot. The seaweed forests have lots to hide. Most of the reef fishes are found over the urchin barrens. The rock flats or urchin barrens are very productive areas with a high diversity of organisms, most of which are invertebrates grazing the pink colored rocks. The green urchin is the strongest grazer capable of removing large seaweeds. Where the shore slopes gradually, urchin barrens can be very wide. Here the urchins are huddling together at the sheltered side of a boulder because together they can defeat their worst enemy, the seven-armed prickly star. Leather jackets have sandpapery skins and they eat a great variety of food left alone by others, like poisonous sponges and sea urchin spines. They are playful and inquisitive, here investigating what a human finger is made of. Male leather jackets have a vertical band over their tails, whereas females don't. To defend their territories, they often engage in boundary disputes. Baby leather jackets are so cute. In healthy environments, one sees many fish in the urchin clearings for food, guarding nests, and for socializing. 
Here, a tiny Trevelli has set up a cleaning station below which Perore patiently await their turns. The main predator here is the blue cod, who keeps a watchful eye on the goings-on. It is a smart fish, sitting on the bottom because it lacks a swim bladder. All blue cod begin life as females, which are brownish in color. Because dirt collects at the bottom, blue cod often hold their breaths, interrupted by a long, restoring yawn. <gasps> Notice the huge mouth cavity, small front teeth, and teeth on its gill bones inside. All spotties are also born as females and can become male later in life. The typical side spot then disappears and a new spot appears higher up. Many wrasses, like spotties, sleep under clean sand in a safe place. The urchin barrens are not all bare rock, but equally covered in a pink stony algae called pink turf. Because it is hard and inedible, it provides a hideout for shrimps and slaters the food for the red moki. Here it is seen teasing the food out of the turf by giving it a powerful suck. Red moki are the most successful fish in the marine reserve because they do not travel outside. They are also very sociable and non-violent. At sunset they gather in small caves called moki holes where each will sleep on its own bunk. A sleeping red moki has a brick red glow and beautiful eyes. Snappers roam the vast sea bottom and usually do not stay inside marine reserves for long. The rocky shore provides them with shelter for sleeping and in summer they seek the warm surface water. Even so, they are attracted to the open urchin spaces. Snappers grow surprisingly old, up to 60 years, weighing in at 15 kilogram. Some of these giants have been named. This is Panda, with his black eye and long body. But the most awesome is Monkey Face with rounded teeth from cracking hard mollusks. Small snappers sleep in banded pyjamas. <laughs>